first I want to say thank you guys for clicking on this video so today is day one of Mexico prep I'm going to Mexico I'm going on vacation and I'm so excited for this you know this is my first vacation since the pandemic started and it's my birthday next week so I'm gonna be away for my birthday and it's the first time I'm really away for my birthday so like I'm just really excited and so today I'm getting my lashes done by Winx by Elise. She's about to do my lashes. Guys, it's been so long since I got lash extensions but I think it's like a mandatory thing when you're going on vacation because I'm gonna be swimming and I wanna get out of the ocean looking cute so yeah so today's lashes tomorrow is hair i'm gonna just do a 26 inch curly sew in with some leave out and then i have a waxing appointment tomorrow which i'm planning to get drunk for because me and pain me and waxing pain like the I just have very uh, traumatic experiences with waxing like i always scream so loud so I'm gonna try to take a couple shots beforehand and then go in and see how that is. Then after that, I got my nails done. I have to choose my outfits, pack, and then I'm off to Mexico. Cancun, baby. Yeah, let's go. I recently got put on to this perfume and now I wanna put you guys on. This YouTuber that I watch, her name is Kira Amanique, and she talked about this perfume from Zara called Ebony Wood, okay? And she described the smell and it went like, not viral but it got a lot of views on tiktok so i seen it and i got the little one i ordered it online it's like sold out she sold it out her influence is crazy but it's such a false scent like when i first smelled this i was like okay took me a little bit of time to get used to it it's very sexy this is grown woman perfume this is much her perfume when I try to be early for an appointment, I end up being way too early. I'm like 40 minutes early for my appointment. Getting ready for the vacation as a woman, first of all, it's very costly. A lot of planning and time has to go into it. Everything ought to be on point. I'm going to be drunk from the moment I get into the airports. Toronto Pearson airports. I'm going to be drunk all seven days and then I'll come back and be sober. I have my whole life here to be sober. I'm gonna be drunk in Mexico. Bear tequila. My skin is acting so bad, like these breakouts. I'm really stressed though. So that's definitely why I'm breaking out. Like my stress level these past couple of days or just weeks have been so bad. There's a lot going on in my life, which you guys will know about very, very soon. But there's a lot, okay? That's like these pimples, I understand. I, I totally get why they're on my face. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to finally feel pretty again like when your lashes are done like naturally you just you just look prettier Even if you don't have makeup don't have hair if my lashes are done then like, you know, you're still kind of cute And I just want like mermaid hair, you know, like how often do you really go away? So when I do I want to go all out and I have to dye my natural hair black so it can match with it and then my nails I don't know what I'm gonna do. You guys will see for my wax though, it's gonna be my first time getting sugar waxed and I heard that's a more na it's more natural but it's also less painful than regular waxing. So I'm like, okay, let me get into this. So I researched, found a place that um, pretty reputable and uh, I'm excited. I, I let everything grow out, guys. I don't even, I'll tell you this when the day comes, which is tomorrow to get waxed, but it's been a long time since I took care of <laughs> Um, uh, Miss Miss Girl down here. I'm so excited for her to look cute again, too. In my armpits, I let grow out that pimple, though. That shit better be gone by Wednesday. I don't have time for pimples and zits. It's okay, because that salt water in the ocean, I don't know what that does to my skin, but face clear, skin, body skin clear. It's a combination of the salt water and the sun, like the tan that just does something that makes you glow and look so nice and bronze and beautiful wow no i'm so excited like you don't understand i'm so excited to get out of toronto it's been almost two years like i Is it off the whole time? Or does it just go It, it stopped recording like while you were doing it. But it's okay. Oh my god! I love them. You're gonna all the person shit. Is the okay? Come back. Yeah. I know on the internet. I felt like those little spiky whiskey. Oh, you're gonna be so 
so awkward. <laughs> I can just put your, your thing. No, just say like, you know, come check me out. You guys want to get your lashes done in Toronto. Links by Lisa on Instagram. Yep. Yep. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. I just got my lashes done. I wanted them to be full just so when I swim and stuff, they don't look thin after. Guys, I feel so pretty. I love me a hazelnut iced coffee. And I'm really hungry, so I got me a little chimichurri chicken sandwich. Wait, why is that actually good? This is my first coffee of the day. Who knew Starbucks food would be good? The reason why I didn't drink coffee in the morning is because apparently you're not supposed to drink coffee before you get your lashes done because the caffeine will literally make your eyes um, twitch. And it makes it harder for the last check. So I'm gonna go, probably go grocery shopping and then go home, edit. I have to finish a bunch of videos before I actually go to Mexico on Wednesday. They're already edited, but I just have to like, like add finishing touches to the edits. So yeah, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Bye. Look how not curly my hair is. And look how curly the bundles that I'm about to put in are. We might have a problem with the blending of the situation might be a problem we'll find out i don't care i just want them inches uh, so i'm going to alia styles boutique she lives in brampton i'm in toronto but she's worth the drive oh i dyed my hair black and i got some on my skin hope that goes away but yeah, it's pretty beat still. After my hair appointment, I'm just getting a curly sew-in. I'm getting my wax. After that, I'm getting my nails done. Mani Pedi, a sizzy. So yeah, once I finish my Mani Pedi, then I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm going on vacation. In my head, it doesn't feel like I'm going away yet. Like, when will it kick in? Yeah, man. Let's go get some coffee. I don't even drink coffee and I already have this much energy. I don't think I should. Can I help you? Hi there, can I please get a medium sugar-free vanilla iced coffee? Okay. Oh wait. Oh my God. to today's sponsor so thank you function of beauty for sponsoring today's vlog for those of you who don't know what function of beauty is it's a hair care company and they provide you with customizable shampoo and conditioners I've been dying to try out these formulas so the thing about function of beauty is it's very personalized when you get the package in the mail from the quiz that you previously did so my hair profile is curly guys this is a sew-in so not my natural hair I've shown my natural hair before on camera like there's little bits of my natural hair even here even at the front here I just came back from vacation which is why I have a little tan going on I got a personalized quiz you get to build your hair profile by choosing the hair type, hair structure and you get to also choose your scalp moisture level I chose to focus my formulas on curl definition, deep conditioning, hydration, lengthening and strengthening 
and I chose the fragrance Takes Two to Mango because I haven't really came across a shampoo or conditioner that smells like mango so I just wanted to try it out and see um, what it's like and guys it smells heavenly and what I also really like about this is you guys know me I don't like a strong fragrance you guys also choose fragrance free or you want to go light with the fragrance which is really helpful you get to choose from a bunch of different and unique scents and you also get to have your name on the bottle so mine says function of rose and there was a rose sticker so I had to put that on there these are just so cute and like I'm thinking about the aesthetics I always have that in mind like will it look cute in my bathroom I've been using function of beauty for the past two months and I can definitely say that I noticed the difference with my hair's natural hydration levels um, before I even put any products but everyone's hair is unique so if you do have an oily scalp you can choose oily and the formula will help you with that Function of Beauty is dermatologist tested so it won't irritate your scalp it's not tested on animals there's no parabens, no sulfates I chose no silicone in my formula it's also vegan and cruelty free you will never run out with Function of Beauty you can have it scheduled to be delivered to your door that is literally the worst when you go to reach for conditioner especially because that one always runs out first and there's nothing in the bottle so if you guys want to try function of beauty for yourself head down to my description box to get your first custom formula at 50% off 50% off that's that's a lot and I just want to thank function of beauty again for partnering with me on this vlog and let's get back into that video so nice I love how it's just a little bit of leave out it blends so much better hair is from Eunice hair. I'm pretty sure it was just the curly bundles. I'm going to leave the car at home and then go walk and get my nails done because it's it's like a two minute walk from the wax place so yeah, I'm not about to drive home drunk but I'm about to have a nice rest of the day a little bit tipsy like okay I'm gonna be pampering myself a little bit drunk. I'm not complaining it's gonna be fun. Yeah I just really hope this method that I'm trying to do works because I've had really bad falls when I'm drunk and I won't feel anything then the next day I'll be like ah like I'll feel everything the next day you know Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, no, no. I mean, it's 
come to a really sensitive area, I'll, I'll let you know to breathe like I take a deep breath and take, take a deep breath. Not that bad. I'm actually so happy. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really painful. Take a deep breath. That one was a little bit. Yeah, that one is the hardest part. Yeah. When you come to a little bit on the top, then you will feel a little. Bit. Yeah. But the, you just have to suck it up. Yes. <laughs> and the pain. Is yeah. Disappearing within two, three seconds. Yeah. Take a deep breath. That one. <laughs> That's painful. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you just have to laugh through the pain. Take a deep breath. Honestly, that wax was so good. I'm telling you guys, if you're not good with pain, take two shots. Two shots, you'll be good. Right now, I'm on my way. I'm walking to the place that I usually get my nails done. It's called Urban Nails. I hope they have an appointment available for me. But that felt, that felt kind of good. I don't know, I got used to the pain and then I started liking the pain and then I'm like, okay. This is not that bad, honestly. But yeah, I booked my next appointment. I'm coming here sometime in November and I'm getting get my cooch and armpit waxed again. So yeah, if you ever want to get your wax done, come to Sugar Moon. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm getting my nails done. Bye. Bye, I'm going to have On the street of the house in which she's living
I'm still running errands. My trip is tomorrow, but I'm running errands with a friend. It's Corey! So she's just gonna be accompanying me on my trip today. Um, I plan on getting some UTI medication. I know it's some I know it's kind of like TMI, but I'm just I don't have one and I don't think I'm gonna get one, but just to be safe because I might get one. Um because of the beach water and pool water so I just never know and UTI pain is the worst pain ever and it comes the next day like literally you just wake up with sharp sharp pains in your fucking urethra it's better to be safe than sorry so I'm going to get it I'm still 24 so I don't have to pay for the medication yet for like another three days four days oh my god I'm gonna be a whole ass adult and then I have to look for both of my EpiPens because I have to bring both of them to Mexico with me because uh, there's gonna be a lot of seafood and I may or may not have a reaction I brought Koi over here because I'm gonna miss her so I wanted to spend the day with her right Koi? <coughs> okay hi I'm good just a second no problem let me know when you're ready okay um Okay, so I think I'm gonna get the pumpkin cream cold brew. Grande pumpkin cream cold brew? Yes. Perfect. And uh, can I also get a splash of milk in there? Splash of milk, give me one second. Do you guys have a banana loaf? Yep. Yeah. Okay, can I please get that heated up? Warmed up, yeah. Yes, thank you. Perfect, and that's it for today? Yes, that's all. See you at the window. Thank you. I will come through a Starbucks drive through just for the customer service. It literally warms my heart. Like, you guys are so nice and sweet. Oh, I forgot to get you a puppuccino. <laughs> She's not happy about that. <laughs> You're so cute, mama. Are they going to call you cute at the window? If I ask for a puppuccino? Can I also get a puppuccino? Yeah, of course. Is a kitty cat? Yes. <laughs> I was like, puppy, what? So those of you guys who don't know, it's just whipped cream in a Starbucks cup. She liked it last time. It's too low in the cup. Like you're not gonna stick your whole head in, right girl? It's on you. Okay, why are you acting like this in front of the camera? You know you be eating. Mm-hmm. 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 Bitch, I'm a mother. She eats before I do. This is called parenting. I have to be honest. Um, I don't really like these. But I feel pressured to get it every time I'm there because it's a seasonal thing and I have so much hype around it. So I'm like, okay. I'm the, no, but I actually have a mental issue because I force myself to eat things or drink things that I don't like to like them. Like, at one point, I didn't like pho. I hated pho. Wouldn't eat it. And then I, I just have to keep forcing myself to eat it. I would go out, spend my money, get it. And now I love pho. I'm just hoping this is going to be, you know, like that for me. Because I really want to like it. I want to get in the season and in the um, spirit, you know, <laughs> fall spirit. Eh. I found the street of the house in which she's there.